Hey everyone, it's Bianca Lotus Siri Designs. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial. It's really good to be back here with you all. Today I'm going to show you how I made over the cedar chest, which let's face it was pretty beat up. We're going to make it beautiful again. So the first thing I did was tip it up on its side so that I could see what was going on with the feet. They felt pretty loose and once I took them off, I discovered why. I was really hoping they just needed to be tightened, but once I got it off, I could see that one of the feet was actually split. I'm gonna keep you in suspense and come back to this later. I moved on and decided to add some Would You Bend moldings to the front of the chest since it was a nice, big, blank canvas. After rummaging through my Would You Bend stash, I did settle on these beautiful scroll appliques. If you don't know about Would You Bend, I'll give you a little tutorial on how to use them. Basically, warm them up and they become flexible. Use wood glue to adhere them to your surface and press down. The wood glue does dry quickly, so you don't have to hold them down for long. I personally prefer to glue them onto sanded wood, however you can lay them over paint. Speaking of paint, let's move on to the finish. I am using Daydream Apothecary's Poison Ivy and Scuba Girl. Daydream Apothecary's paint is unique in that it is a clay and chalk based formula. The chemistry of the paint seems to work well with my signature technique, which is to stipple on my blend. And therefore, I'm always happy with my results and I love using this paint. So I'll break down my finish for you. Obviously, I started with a layer of dark paint on the very base. I like to do this when I am blending so that some of that dark peeks through. From there, I add my two colors to my surface and using a dedicated brush stipple, which is to say tap the two colors together to blend them at the seams. This technique is how I achieve my signature grunge look. Once my purples were laid, I went back over the Would You Bend appliques with black. After the black dried, I went over the center applique with a little bit more poison ivy. And then, to take it a step further, used white in the very center of the applique to create, I guess, a check look. Side note, I feel like this applique is giving medieval crest vibes, and I'm here for it. Anyway, moving on, let's order some feet. I went on Amazon, found these feet, and thought that they were perfect, placed my order, and they arrived the next day. It's pretty self-explanatory what I am doing to the feet. Here you see I am adding white paint to the center, and then I come in and create some stripes down that white painted center, and then I use black paint to fill in the rest of the feet. Yes, I could have fixed the original feet, but I like these so much better. Also, they make the chest a little bit taller off the ground. Off camera, actually it's been a lot of off camera things, but in this case, off camera, I sealed the piece with water-based polyurethane, and then for my last step, I am coming in and using bronze gilding wax, lightly dusting over those Would You Bend appliques that I went over in black. Also off camera, I do buff my gilding wax once it's set with a clean shop rag. And that's it, reveal time. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy with how this turned out, but you know, those of you who follow me know that purple is life to me. Purple is my absolute most favorite color in the world, and I'm so excited about this chest. <laughs> I had to let my inner child come out and play for just a second there. Again, thank you for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, Facebook, like, Instagram, follow. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.